Today's shopping challenge is literally going to be magical because we are going to be going inside of Learning Express and buying all things mythical creatures themed. And I am so excited, you guys. So just to clarify, when I say I'm shopping for mythical creatures, I'm talking unicorns, mermaids, dragons, the list goes on. But those are the main ones. And so I think this is going to be a ton of fun and also very satisfying. I know how much you guys enjoy my Learning Express shopping challenges. So this one is going to be awesome. I'm mainly going to be shopping for slimes, squishmallows, and fidgets. Also crazy Aaron's thinking putties. But I have no doubt that this challenge is going to be super fun and highly successful. And if I had to predict how many fidgets we are going to end up with by the end of this video, I'm going to say 54. But let me know in the comments down below, you guys, how many items you think I'm going to find in this shopping challenge. But before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I'm going to see if you guys can like click subscribe and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete that five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. If you could design your very own pet unicorn, what would its name be? What colors would it have? And what would its favorite food be? I would love to hear your answers to this question because I know all of them are going to be so different and unique. So build a unicorn in the comments down below. I would love it. But anyways, you guys, without further ado, let's go inside. Here we are. Oh my goodness. Look at all this sleet. Ew. All right, guys, so I just made it into the store and I cannot wait to start this. I just saw that they restocked on their Squishmallows and Slimes. And to say that I'm excited is an understatement. So here we are, literally just got through the door. I'm gonna grab a basket and we are not gonna waste any time. We're definitely gonna have to choose the purple basket instead of the black one because I feel like purple just goes with the theming of this video. So we're gonna put this down. First things first, we gotta tackle the front display. For Valentine's Day, they have a bucket of pink and purple caterpillars. These are so adorable, but they are not mythical creatures. Another category that I forgot about when I was talking to you guys in the car was narwhals. Narwhals are definitely considered a mythical creature because they're make-believe, you know? We will also be looking for those. <gasps> guys, I just found our first item. It's a unicorn and it is so pretty. So we are going to be getting this little unicorn, Squishmallow. We've got heart-shaped poppets. We got snowflake poppets. We got these critter crawler centipedes Ugh, that is the farthest thing away from a mythical creature we are staying far away from those this is cute so this is like a llama corn i guess technically that could count as a mythical creature but we're gonna look around a little bit more because i don't know what do you guys think should this count yes or no in here we have the world famous squeaky chickens we've got chickens pigs and sharks nothing in there counts so we are going to pick up our basket and come around the corner what are these? Oh, okay, so these are bouncy balls and it looks like they have dinosaurs inside. So I do not count bouncy balls when I do these shopping challenges. Um, but if I did, I think I would pick these up because uh, I feel like dinosaurs fit into this category that we're shopping for. But again, they're bouncy balls, so we're not gonna get them. All right, we have these sticky monsters. Guys, what do you think about me getting monsters for this challenge? Should they count? Should they not count? Because monsters are make-believe, just like unicorns and dragons and all that jazz. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna say no, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We've got slugs and sharks. Here's another unicorn. Um, what's this? This is called Chemish Treats. <gasps> that is so fun. It says you can make gummies, crystal candy, fizzy soda. That is the coolest thing ever. What are these? <gasps> Ooh, guys, I need these in my life. Okay. This just gave me an idea. I've never done a dessert themed fidget slime and squishmallow shopping challenge. So if you think I should come back and do that, then give this video a big thumbs up. So we've got Twinkies, we've got, what are these called? I don't even remember. 
Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these in the longest time. I used to love these. Are they called Ho-Ho's? I don't remember. They look delicious. They're like the little Debbie cakes and I want them all. I wonder if they're scented. If they're not, then they should totally make them scented. Let's keep moving along. We have an outer space dimple, which will not count. A lobster, an airplane, bunny. Oh my gosh, it's a rose squishmallow. How precious is that? You guys, I love all things Valentine's Day, but guys, I am not seeing anything mythical creature themed up here except for that unicorn that we saw in the beginning. So we're going to check out the toy towers over here because it is loaded with fidgets and I know we are going to find some awesome things. All right, we're gonna start up top. Let's see what we can find. We've got a tangle. We've got, oh, I love this stress ball. I think these are supposed to be little planets. No, 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 no. Oh, dinosaur. I'm going to count him. All right, this is an iguana. Oh no, a chameleon. I always get chameleons, iguanas, and lizards confused because they all look very similar. An avocado. Here's another dinosaur and he has Orbeez inside. So we're gonna get the green one and we are also going to get the red one. Those are octopus. They have pineapples, DNA balls, sharks. Oh guys, okay, we just hit the jackpot here. So these are little squishy mermaid huts or mermaid castles. Yeah, it says stretchy mermaid and castle. So this is 100% a fidget toy and we are going to get all the different colors. So it comes in blue and it comes in red. There we go, adding it to the basket. Anything else? I don't think so, but there is another side to this toy tower. So let's wrap around and make sure we didn't miss out on anything. Oh guys, I almost missed this. So it's a rainbow and when you squeeze it, look, it's a sparkly unicorn. Oh my gosh, this is literally so perfect for this challenge. I cannot believe it. So let's add this to the basket. What is this? Is this a dinosaur egg? No, it's a chicken egg. Chickens do not count. But here we are on the other side of the toy tower. Um, ooh, wait, okay. This dinosaur, this is a mesh ball. I've never seen him before. He kind of looks like a chicken and a dinosaur all in one. You guys know what type of dinosaur this is supposed to be? Pause the video and comment below. I think it's a Triceratops, but I could be totally wrong. I really don't know. So we're gonna get him. Let's see if we can find anything else. These are zombie heads. Ooh. I love these neon caterpillars. They're so fun. I think we got it all. All right, so we're gonna put our basket down and we are at a whole nother section now. So how cute is this? It's called a night lamp companion. And I guess it turns different colors, which is so cool. It's not a fidget though, so we can't get it, but if it was a fidget, it would be in our basket right now. We've got some pearl water stress balls, spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> this is so fun, I love that. So these are Tangle Pets. I don't think any of them are mythical creature themed though. So we're gonna skip out on those. These are sea creatures, fruits, animals. Okay, I think we can move along. Ooh, what are these? Water Wigglers, Easter edition. <gasps> this is so fun, you guys. They're already getting Easter stuff. I love it. Wait, oh my gosh, did you see that? Look, okay, I'm gonna squeeze it and watch what happens. Watch what happens when I squeeze it. It literally flips right out of your hand. It is so fun. I cannot wait to come back in a couple weeks and do an Easter fidget slime and squishmallow shopping challenge. So many fidget mystery boxes. Oh my gosh, this is series three. I didn't even know they came out with a series three. You guys, I have got to get one of these boxes. It is not mythical creatures themed though. So how about if we find at least 50 fidgets for this challenge, then I will treat myself to this mystery box at the end of the video. Because I have series one and two, but I do not have series three. And these mystery boxes are seriously so much fun. And it's 29 fidgets for $25. That, in my opinion, is an amazing deal. Okay, so to my left, we have a ton of fidgets. And to my right, we have a ton of fidgets. You guys, we are only just getting started. So these are sticky bubble dino blobbies and these totally count for the challenge. So we're gonna add those. Um, there's also a slug, ew, no thanks. 
squishy banana, pineapple, baby bottle. Okay, nothing else over here counts. What is this? Ooh, hatch an egg. These are cool. This is a dinosaur egg that hatches. And then I think the dinosaur grows. That's really fun, but it's not a fidget. These are called Magic Fortune Friends. And they're scented. And you can ask it a question and it'll give you an answer. So let's see. Okay, will I find at least 50 fidgets today that are mythical creatures themed? Let's see what it says. It's saying yes. Okay, hopefully it's right. So there's a peach, a pineapple, and an avocado. Down here, we've got these adorable BFF dimple fidgets. You guys have probably seen me show these before. I think that is all for this section. Now we are going to go on over to the Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putties, and I have a really good feeling about that section. Let's go check it out. Two seconds later. Actually, wait. Okay, before we do that, Here's another section that I totally forgot about. These are pop tube pets. So we've got a shark, a stingray, and then, oh my gosh, you guys, it's a narwhal. And that totally counts. I was literally so close to passing these up and I'm so happy that I saw them in time. Elephants, penguins, alligators, zebras. Hmm, anything else? Let's see. Here's another narwhal. And this one is purple, so it is so cute. And here's another narwhal pop tube pet. This one's mint green. This one might just be my favorite, honestly. Another purple one. Ooh. And then there's also this white and blue one. And it's jumbo sized. So we have the larger one and then we also have the smaller one. There's a hedgehog and a dinosaur, which we are going to count. Wow, all of a sudden our basket is really starting to fill up. That is so exciting. Anything else? Hmm, I don't think so. I think we got all of them. And then also over here, oh my gosh, another section that I almost forgot about. We have all of these jelly roos, okay? So these are very similar to PBJs. I'm sure you guys have heard of those plush ball jellies. I believe they do have a unicorn and I'm trying to find it. Is this it? No, that's a cat. Here it is. Okay, guys, so we can get this unicorn jelly roo. He is so adorable. And now I finally have an excuse to buy him. So now that we got those sections covered, we can go look at Crazy Errands. All right, guys, here we are. So let's start over here first. What is this? Invisible ink. This is camo. Ghost Rider's Secret Scroll. And these are just fun scented ones. Pop and polka dots cute but it does not count and then that one is jungle themed so oh i found our first one so this is called enchanting unicorn and look at that putty you guys it is stunning and then right next to it look at this magic dragon it was meant to be they're right next to each other so we're going to add these to our basket and then we have these little guys right here so this is rose gold monstrosity Jeez, guys, I keep going back and forth about whether or not I should count monster-themed items. Uh, I don't know if monsters are considered mythical creatures. I don't think they are. I think they're their own genre, but I don't know. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. These are Valentine's Day-themed mini crazy errands. So adorable. And then over here on the side, we have even more. And these are mostly hide-and-seek-themed, so you try to find the list of themo slices that's on the back of the package i think we found all of the qualifying crazy errands they have tons of new items up here by the registers um okay this is a fossil Ooh, guys should we count this yes or no hmm we are counting dinosaurs so i think we should also count fossils but let me know your thoughts i'm going to do it though i think i'm going to give myself a pass on that so I got all the different colors. These are so cute. They're called squishy snacks and they remind me of mochis. Now we are going to look over here in this circus tent display. This is a fidget pad. Doesn't count, but it's super cool. You've got caterpillars and chickens and octopus. Ooh, okay, we definitely just hit the jackpot. So there are all these Orbeez filled unicorns. This one is blue. And then we also have purple. And then of course, pink. So comment below you guys, which one of these colors is your favorite? 
Mine is the pink one. Our basket is almost completely filled and we are still not done. We only went through about half the store so far, believe it or not. We already got one of these dinosaurs, so we're not gonna be getting another one. And then these are just little dogs. Now let's look in the fidget train display. And can we just take a second? Look how adorable this is. It's so organized and these dinosaurs on here just make it pop. I'm obsessed. What's this? It caught my attention because it has a unicorn on it. Uh, unicorn hatch egg. Fun, but again, not a fidget. Hmm. Oh, guys, these little squishy mermaids would absolutely count. And there's so much variety. So, okay, we're going to line them up. We're going to get this one right here. She reminds me of Ariel with her red hair and her purple top. Also, we can get her. And this blonde one. I don't want to leave any of them out, so I'm going to dig and make sure we got all of them. Okay, I think that's all of them. So, which one is your favorite, you guys? Let me know in the comments below. But there we go. One, two, three. Oh, these are fun. They're little wooden robots. I never noticed these before. More squishy monsters. Oh, wait. These are dinosaurs. Okay, we could totally count these. So we're going to get all the different colors. We have gold. We have silver. Green. Purple. And I think that's it. There we go. Four different colors. I'll take it. Now we are wrapping around this way. We already got one of these rainbows. Um, here's some squishy carrots. <gasps> Ooh, so I just found more of these sparkly dinosaurs. We did not get this light pink one. And this is honestly my favorite color in a nutshell because not only is it my favorite shade of pink, but it's also sparkly. And I love all things sparkly. So we're gonna get that one. Also, this blue one is new to me. And then we got those other colors, so. Wow, we are doing so good. Look at these little bouncy balls, you guys. It has glitter and a unicorn inside. That is so cool. If only bouncy balls counted. So now we're gonna check out this Neato display. And I don't really think we're going to find anything mythical creatures themed. We already found these dinosaurs earlier and the rest of these are just really fun colors. So we are going to move along and we're gonna check out PBJs. And as you can see, this is a Purple Stars O2 favorite. So we've got birds, we've got walruses and hippos and zebras. Ooh, here is a unicorn. We can absolutely count this one. So if you guys haven't noticed already, there is still one section that I have not gone to yet. Well, actually two, Squishmallows and something else. If you know what that category is, pause the video and comment below. I'm about to show it to you guys. And to say that I'm excited is a major understatement because they just restocked on their slimes, but not just dope slimes. They got a new brand of slime in and it's called Kawaii Slimes. And let me tell you, I have been so obsessed with these and they have so many options. So let's go check them out. Literally, you guys, just let's take a second here. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I cannot get over this packaging. The little bows, are you kidding me? And then on this side, there is the dope slimes as well. <gasps> I don't even know where to start, seriously. But okay, before we do that, we do have to snatch some of these inside outsies because there is a unicorn right here. There is also a, I know there's a narwhal somewhere. Oh, here it is right here. Look at that, perfect. And then there's also a dragon. So there we go. And now we're gonna check out these slimes. Okay, so there's maple syrup and pancakes. So cute, fuzzy pink poodle. <gasps> Dinos. Okay, this 100% counts. And look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's so pastel and just stunning. And this is a crunchy slime. I love how on the packaging these say what kind of slime they are so this one is a crunchy slime and then right next to it we have this one called fluffy goo and it's a marshmallow cream slime oh my gosh i don't know about you guys but i think we should count this because i think of unicorns when i see this so we are going to get it this is danish butter slime Strawberry mousse, fuzzy duckling, watermelon sugar, fwaffa waffa time. It's a cloud slime with a teddy bear. Oh my goodness. I am so happy right now, if you couldn't tell. We're gonna wrap around here and we're gonna make sure that there's no dope slimes we're missing out on. So I don't think there is, but let's just make sure. Q. 
Cupid's Fluff, Lavender Dreams, Tiffany's Frosting, Peppermint Bark, Strawberry Shortcake. I don't think so. There's only one animal themed slime and it's this one and it's called Polar Flurry with a polar bear on it. And now guys, we have entered the wonderful world of Squishmallows. Look how many there are. Oh my gosh, you know what would be my dream? If I could take all these off the shelves and just jump into a giant pile. That would be amazing. They need to hang a giant sign over here that says Squishmallow City or Squishmallow Central Station or something fun like that because that's what it is. Oh my gosh, I am so excited and I think I'm gonna need to get another basket for this because just look at this. There's so much to take in. Let's go grab another basket and get Squishmallow shopping. All right, guys. So now we have another basket ready to go because there is no way we're gonna be able to fit even two Squishmallows in our first basket. So we're gonna start over here with these little guys and I already see one. It's a little dinosaur. He is so precious and I think he's out for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna get him. This is a little, is he a dinosaur? I think he's a dinosaur because his name is Danny. Hey. I know someone named Danny, LOL. Anyway, um, Danny the dinosaur, so we have to get him. This is a dragon. His name is Desmond, whoa, that's a very interesting name. We're gonna get him as well, he counts. Uh, so does this dragon. And then guys, check out all of these Valentine's Day themed ones. Oh my gosh, <gasps> and look at this little hidden gem back here. You see guys, I love Squishmallows that look like him. He's just so simple and sweet. He doesn't count for today's challenge, but he is worth showing. Another monster. Ooh, this is absolutely perfect. So this is like a tie-dye rainbow narwhal and it's precious. So that counts. Oh my gosh, look at the little love bug. I love it. Ooh, a claw machine, that's fun. Okay, I think I need this one because I love the colors it's very pastel very very pretty we're gonna start a new game how many squishmallows can you fit into a learning express basket he is so cute it's a little tortoise but a little hair he's adorable Ooh, check out this one you guys it's a twizzlers unicorn and let's get the reese's catacorn as well let's squeeze these into our second basket i think i am satisfied so you guys know what time it is. I'm going to head on over to the counting corner and we are going to see if we found at least 50 mythical creature themed fidget slimes and squishmallows. I think we definitely did it, but I don't know. We're going to have to count and see. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we are now in the counting corner and we have two baskets to go through. So let's start counting, starting with the squishmallows. And again, my OG prediction was that we would find 54. So if you haven't already made your predictions, pause the video now and comment below how many items you think I found in total. Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. We were so close to having 50 mythical creature themed fidgets, slimes, and squishmallows. Literally so close. So unfortunately, I will not be getting the series three fidget mystery box, but we still did so good. I mean, look at all of these new items. This is so exciting. And I have to say, if I could only keep one thing from this pile, it would definitely be this slime right here fluffy goo marshmallow cream slime are you kidding me i love this i also love the dino one i also really like this it feels very satisfying to squish and my favorite squish mellow would have to be probably this green dragon i think he is adorable but leave a comment down below you guys and let me know which item is your favorite so I made it back inside of the car. It is literally freezing out today, but 
that was a super successful shopping challenge. I had so much fun filming it, and I hope that you guys had fun watching it. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys have any other fun, unique shopping challenges that I could do here at Learning Express, please let me know what your ideas are in the comments down below. And you never know, I might just come back to the store and use your ideas. You guys have such creative minds, and I always love hearing what you have to say. But I love you all to the minute and back. Thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Mwah.